R railing rollouts. So I'm going to pick on a railing. I'll come up here to modify and I'll have my railing now uh, rollout show up. And you can see here that first thing is pick the railing path. If I draw a line with the spline command, I can turn that spline line into the railing path. So if I already have it drawn with the spline, I can just use that to convert it into the path. The segments, the segments are if we're using this uh, railing path from a spline, I can set how many segments I want. So the more segments I have, uh, the more uh, intricate I can get. Respecting the corners is when I use the spline, and that's going to, when I bend around the corners, that's going to allow that those corner types uh, be respective uh, in the railing path. Now, in their top rail, I'm over here. So, in my top rail, I have a square. I can choose that to be around. You can see now my top railing is around. I could actually say it's none, and now I don't have a top rail. So I can go with whatever top square around, and I can choose the depth and the width. And I also have the height. Right now I have it set at 4 feet, so I can change that to 5 feet, 6 feet, etc. The lower rail, again, I can say it's round roller uh, or square, and I can actually set the size, in this case, they're smaller down below. This button over here is the rail spacing. When I click on it, I can say, well, how many rails do I want? I'll go four and say close, and now perhaps, you know, you don't have to worry about children falling through as much. Okay, so now that I have four lower rails, one, two, three, four, um, I don't have to worry about that. So I can come in and say, well, that's a little bit more cost and I can say I can go with three and I can get by. All right. So, um, so you can pick your top rail and your lowering lower rail uh, in my railing rollout, and I can control everything about those particular rails. So when I'm creating a rail, the railing rollout is located right here. And if I'm creating a new one. Um, I can go up into my railing, and you can see my top rail, my lower rails automatically show up uh, if I hit the expanded button. So they're already here. So when I create a new rail, it's already set up. My top rail and lower rails are already showing at this point. Uh, my post and fencing do not, but I can hit the plus signs to see those. So my railing rollout is already there. Um, if I want to modify one existing one. I pick on it and I go up here to modify and then my rails will show up as well.